I don't love you, Ryan. Not the way you are meant to be loved. And I know that you don't love me that way either. I'm not going to settle for less. And I won't let you settle for less either. Not when the people who are meant to be loved by us are out there for us. You know I'm right, don't you? Gorgeous. And wise. And honest. Even when it's very hard to be. I'm sorry. Uh -uh. Don't be sorry. You're amazing. Do you know that? I wish it had been you. I wish it had been you too. Really? It's really... much better this way, you know. I mean, with my track record, I'm very happy to have you as a friend. <laughs> so... So... We're okay. We're more than okay. I mean, really, truly, deep down. A little sad, maybe. You... I'm a little sad. You're not devastated? <laughs> Would you like me to be devastated? I am Erica Kane. Most men, when they lose me, they're a little bit devastated. Well, then I'm definitely a little bit devastated. <laughs> Good. Do you think... Do you think we screwed it up? I think this is one of the most civilized breakups I've ever had. No, I'm talking about our friendship. I just hope the jumping into bed didn't ruin everything. We didn't jump. We were friends first for a very long time. And we're friends now, again. Only closer. And partners. I mean, are we still running fusion together? I wouldn't have it any other way. Okay, good. We're certainly going to have our work cut out for us, that's for sure. Oh, we're going to get Fusion back on track and in the black in no time. No, I'm talking about the press. I mean, we just made a big announcement. I'm a little curious how we'll handle the, uh, unannouncement. Oh, I think that we have so many more important things to deal with. What if we don't? That is genius. <laughs> what? I'm just thinking about the incredibly lucky man that's going to fall in love with you, heart and soul. Oh, you're going to find someone, no, no, too? No, 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 no. Not going to happen for me. Oh, my God, I'm not dreaming, am I? Because I've had this dream a lot. Me, too. It's kept me going. I don't understand. How, how is this possible? I mean, where, where were you? What happened? I'm here. And I'm going to be your daughter for eons to come. <laughs> Can we just leave it at that for now? I'm looking forward to every minute of those eons, but you have to make me understand how this, how this could be. I mean, you, how did you survive that accident? Creed, the fall alone would have killed anyone, and, and, and that river was freezing. Sweetheart, they found you. But here you are. How? Someone found me. I was unconscious, almost dead. I was in a coma for months, and when I woke up, I was... I was so confused, I still thought it was my wedding day. And then, when I found out how much time it had passed and everybody thought I was dead... Why didn't you call us? I couldn't. 
Well, then why didn't whoever rescued you call us? I mean, none of your name, your, 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 your face was all over the news. Certainly they knew who you were, that you had people who loved you, who were looking for you. I mean, what kind of a monster would let your family and friends think you were dead? such a pessimist. Hmm. Of course you're going to find someone else to love. No, it's not pessimism. It's just, uh, it's kind of like a defensive move. Well, I know how much you love to fix things, and I can just imagine you trying to, like, set me up with somebody that you think is perfect or trying to get me out there more. Because you deserve to be happy. And I've been happy. The kind of happy that doesn't happen twice. Greenly. I mean, you know, Took us a while to get there. I left. She left. We hurt each other. We helped each other. We hurt each other. But we always, uh, we always came back. And when we did, nothing could stop us. Or at least, that's what we thought. I'm sorry. No, don't be sorry. I got enough memories of Greenlee to last me a lifetime. Surprise a day, as we used to say. She even wrote it in her vows. <laughs> and she was. She was a surprise every day. Really? And at night, I would just stare up at the moon and I would just try to will her back. So, all those times I saw you looking at the moon, you were thinking of Greenlee, you were missing her. Kind of our thing. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Yeah. Because because it means a lot to me that um, I can talk to you about this, about Greenlee. I'm the one to blame. It was my call. When I woke up and realized how badly I was hurt, I didn't want anyone contacted. Oh, honey, why? Why Why didn't you want to see us? I couldn't move my legs. The surgery that made this possible was so insanely risky, I couldn't take the chance of calling you and then dying on you all over again. Oh, honey, I could have been there for you. I could have helped you. No, and I love you for that. But losing me a second time, I couldn't do that to you. So I waited until I knew I'd make it. Here you are, <laughs> healthy and strong. Oh, I mean, you, you are okay, right? I'm here to stay. Good. Does Ryan know? You're the first. Well, I like that, but we have to tell him. Soon. My darling daughter, I can't... Who is responsible for this miracle? I mean, if I never believed in miracles before, I surely do now. Who is? I want to thank them for returning my daughter to me. We well, are in luck. He's here. He's here.